welcome back to another episode of From the Shadows. And as always, if you are enjoying the series, please do drop a like on the video. Now, in our last episode, we beat one of our main promotion rivals 5-0 with our biggest win of the season, in fact. And uh, it was just a, one of those games. It was a perfect storm of circumstance and we absolutely battered them. And a hat trick for Echergui as well uh, was very, very nice. Now, as you'll see on the bottom right of my screen, Ojun Bai has also torn his piss in hamstring. So now we've got both him and Mvia out for three months. It's the hamstring time. Um, so yeah, they're out, which means we're kind of... Mm, not down to bare bones, but not quite as convincing as I would have liked. We've not been quite as good in front of goal, particularly in the league. In fact, first game up, though, tip to be fair to us in this game, they were... I felt they were the better team. I know it might not look like it, but there's something about them. They just played a lot better, and we had... I don't know. Our shots... The highlights were all them, basically, and that's kind of what made me think they were the better team. Kwame Unsur gave them the lead, finally, and I felt it was deserved, but we did actually manage to get one back. Uh, not get one back, managed to equalise for Richard Sokria, uh, back from injury, to level. Again, it's a huge point, because remember, these guys were right on our tails, technically. They were the team nearest to us, and you know, a win for them would have put them one point behind, so keeping that four-point gap was absolutely glorious for us, and it kept us in with a fight. Obviously, because Amiens won again, uh, they went back above us again, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, Ojan Bayi got injured in this game and that's him out for three months as well so that is disappointing they'll be back in sort of february which is a massive shame next up we have the cup against borge and this was again a little bit weird like sol gave them the lead with their first shot of the game we've had this weirdness in the cup with some of that stuff happening thankfully hakim jalabi managed to level for us quickly after and then of course luther from the penalty spot gave us the lead and we kind of didn't really look back after that um Traore made it 3-1 uh, on 67 minutes then an annoying own goal from kulu valley made it 3-2 and i was gutted thankfully sokria put the icing on the cake there and put us into the eighth round of the cup uh, with a 4-2 victory. Now, we've been drawn against the team from the, te the, the division below us, so I'm still fairly confident that we should be able to get ourselves um, into the ninth round, which is where we're expected to go. Uh, prize money seems to double each time, so we really do need to... Ha I don't know. I really just don't think there's anything. We got £4,000 for winning that game. I just don't know. We're losing 50, 50 grand a week here, and there's no money coming into the club, so I don't entirely know how... It seems like you start with basically nothing, and it only goes down because... I, there's no money coming in. I, I don't understand how you're supposed to deal with the finances if you're only ever going to lose money. Um, it's really, really weird. Like, we're losing everything, like, their entire wage budget, basically. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any profits. It's just we're losing 50 grand a week, practically. It's it's insane. By the end of the season, we'll be about £2 million in debt, I think. And I have not done anything to contribute to that because none of the players I've signed have actually been on contracts. So, I... And I couldn't get rid of any of the ones that were, because all the ones that were on that big money had apparently signed in the summer, and therefore were... I couldn't get rid of them. So, yeah, very, very strange. A little bit annoying, but we're going to have to do our best. As long as I don't get sacked because of bad financial handling. But the fact is, our wages are still in the plus. Uh, if that's any kind of consolation. Next up, we had a game against Le Poix sur -Vie, And... It was a straight, like, again, we struggled in front of goal, and I think we should have done a lot better in this one, if I'm honest. Idris Ikebane put us in front on 29 minutes, stepping in, of course, for Ojan Bai. And then, of course, a penalty was missed. We missed a penalty. I couldn't believe it. Usually a penalty is just a free goal, but we actually missed one. I think that's one of the first times I've seen one missed from oh, a while. Um, they were terrible in this game. One shot in the entire match on target. We should have had four or five in this one, but, you know, we got them in the game that we needed them in. To be fair, as long as we got the three points and another clean sheet, I wasn't too fussed about it. That leaves the lead looking like this, because Amiens did actually draw their last game, which means that we've now, well, actually conceded the same amount as them with six. They've been miserly at the back as well this season. Um, the next nearest club has got conceded 14, no, 13. Um, so at the moment, we find ourselves seven points clear of dropping out of the promotion spots, and that's good. We're top of the league, six points clear of UBSCO, who are the sort of other team involved in that the battle at the bottom looks pretty hefty as well though um so all in all as you can see the average ratings are good assists are looking good uh clean sheets 10 clean sheets in 15 matches for demarcone is fantastic as well you cannot fault him on that so all is looking very very good for us in pretty much every area at the moment so we're looking fairly solid i'm really liking the way we're going we've got plenty of goals in this although it has dried up and i'm hoping that a, a draw today would be perfect. If we can get a draw, I'm happy. Uh, as you can see, Jergui and Sokhi are now with seven goals apiece, and of course, six assists uh, for Jergui and uh, Boileon in there as well. Uh, player of the match, of course, is Boileon and Ojan Bai, but he's going to be out for quite some time now, which is a shame. Average rating, again, was Ojan Bai, which is such a shame. It, it's going to be a bit of an... It's going to be a miss. It's going to be a heavy miss for us. Uh, aerial challenges is now Billie Jean. Key passes, 63 for Ex-Jergui. 
That's better. I wonder what he's like in compared to the rest of the league. We'll have a quick gander of that in a minute. Key tackles, uh, Libohi is right up there. And of course, interceptions, he's on there. Oh no, Puyol's overtaken him again now. Oh, Libohi picked up a suspension, I think, or an injury. I can't remember which. Anyway, um, take a quick gander at the stats. We can see if he is. Yes, as you can see, uh, in the league, Exhogu is right up there with 44 key passes, but still not the most. He's joint the most. So, hmm, interesting. Um, right. Wow. He's actually only been on the pitch for two goals conceded, Kuli Valley. When he plays, we're solid at the back. Um, I think he's playing today. Let's see if that bodes well. Adamanko fancies chances. What the hell? We're on the match day, aren't we? Apologies for this guy. Unhappy promise not kept. Didn't make a promise to him. I literally didn't make a promise to anyone. Um, I, in fact, I think I told him he could leave. And I didn't promise to give him first team football, so he can fuck off, frankly. Um, what is this stupid system? Seriously, I didn't even make a promise to him. I said he could leave, not give him first team football. He even said that he was going to... Oh, my God. I'll deal with that later. I can't even be asked with that right now. We are on match day, aren't we? Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Apologies. I must have thought we were when we weren't. Uh, okay, right. Let's see. Um... I don't know how we're do going to do against this system. It's quite an attacking approach. Let's do a quick pick and see what we've got available. Koulibaly is there. Really? Off the bench? 90... F um, no, I'm going to go with Sokria. I know that he's just a better player. I'm sorry. Uh, right, let's just check the bench, though. I want to put Helu in on the bench for Bongo. And I want to bring on someone for Sanaya here. We could probably do with someone like Ikebar... Oh, no, he's playing. <laughs> um... God, it's annoying. I want to bring in someone like Urjan Bai or Mvia, but we're going to have to bring in uh, Wazeni for Sonaya there. We've got a decent spread on the bench. So we've got attacking midfielder, centre, defensive mid, a left back, and a striker. So it all is now... We've got a decent set off the bench, basically. Right, let's do this. I really do want to see a good performance here, but I just feel like if we're going to lose a game... Wow, we're the favourites? That seems a bit harsh on them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this is a game we're gonna I, I have a bad feeling about it it could go one of two ways i feel like either we'll be fantastic or we'll be or, or we will be awful um i'm obviously praying for the fantastic but i just wonder you know there's a reason why these guys are right up there in the league with us and we've got to try and combat them away from home today but if we can just not as long as we don't embarrass ourselves i guess i'll be happy um but you never know you know maybe this tactic is good for away from home play because it is a counter-attacking style oh well that's a good touch uh, poet Oh, Bulgari, that's a poor piece of play from us. And Matt Musiliu gives Amiens the lead, and that's a shame. I mean, the fact is, I'm happy as long as we go up, but I would be disappointed because I do really think we've done enough at the moment to really be up there, but they are just... They've been ruthless in some of their games, picking up wins where they need to, basically. They did drop points in their last match, though. I thought the chance had gone there, but Poyet's... Ah, oh, my defender was a little bit shit there, if I'm honest. Uh, let's... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they're playing fantastically. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I thought that was going to ricochet over the line there. We've got away with that a little. Um, they've only had one shot on target, though. That's what I would say. And that's the same... Oh, there we go. They've had another one now. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, we've not been good enough in this first half. Possession is still good. Pass completion is still good. But they just... They're getting the chances at the moment. And that's pretty much crucial. And I just don't know how we can change this at the moment. They haven't been good enough. We need to I think we might just have to try and motivate them into this game more than anything. Um... Sometimes you're just not going to have good games. And I, I don't want to fuck with the tactic too much just because it generally does work. And I wouldn't know how to really go start about this at the moment. Um, they are quite a... The team with quite a fair bit of width, I think. But that might mean they're exposable down the middle themselves. So I don't think it's an entirely bad thing. Um, you know, it's all very well saying we can be exploited with width. Yeah, we can. But if a team's exploiting us with width, they're going to be open in the middle. So it's, it's you know, it's a game of two particular game plans. Oh, my God. Ball in again. Headed away. ex -Shugri. That's it. Bring it down and... I don't know what even happened there. How was he not just bringing that down and going for it? They're obviously the better team today. They've really been fantastic. Um, I'm going to give it a little while before we make any real changes. I'm just not entirely sure which ones to make just yet. Um, we are still only a goal down, though, so there is still a chance for us to maybe get very, very lucky. Oh, what is with the passing today? It's one of those days, it seems. They're closing us down like Raptors, and that's not good for us. Boalion, go on, penalty or something. Ikebane. Exhagui, goal! 1-1, one, one, and that is an amazing turn of events. I'm just going to stick with this at the moment. Um, we don't deserve it, but we've got it. Um, there you go. Great work on the edge of the area. We've still done the sort of things I want, but we just haven't been able to fashion as many chances today, and I've allowed them more shots than I would have liked. I don't know what their goalkeeper's doing there, but Luther makes it 1-1 one, one here, and I'd take a draw. You know I'd take a draw. Oh, let me guess. They're going to get a set-piece goal now. Koulibaly clears it, but... Oh, come on! I don't know how we can prevent set-piece goals. They just seem to happen. Um... 
if in doubt, you'll concede a set-piece goal. But sometimes shit happens. We've not been good enough. They do deserve this. So I'm just trying to think. Mm. I just don't know at the moment. I'm going to turn to push forward because obviously, you know, we've got to try and get back into this a little bit. I'd like to try and see if we could steal a draw or something. But they, they've been the better teams today. We can't deny that. Um, hmm. Who's right? Ikeban is looking a little bit worse for wear. And I'm gonna bring him off. Gulabali's not been good today, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the two subs here, and then I'm gonna switch it to attacking. I think, or control maybe. We'll go for control for ten minutes and see how well that pans out. And if not, we'll switch it to attacking or overload just to see if we can desperately try. We are still only one goal down after all, so. There is still that faintest hope of us maybe getting something from this game. But I think it's more likely that they're going to score a second. Oh, good block. Wizan. There we go. Oh, what is what is with the passing? Like, our passing is fantastic usually. And yet today, it's just been... And it's not even like they're intercepting passes. We're just playing it straight to them. There is a difference. I don't understand why that just happens sometimes. You just get games where your players will not make passes. We've still got 82% pass completion, though. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. Um, I think we've spared our blushes in some respects. That It could have been a lot worse. And to only go down 2-1, I suppose, isn't that bad. But we've just not looked good enough on the night, really. Um... They just they were just better than us today. But I still feel we're in with a good shot of promotion. We'll still be six points clear in the promotion spot. So all is going well for us, really. And I still feel like against they're gonna have to slip up at some point. And if we, yeah, it was disappointing, but hey, you're gonna have disappointing games from time to time. That's just one of those things, isn't it, really? Um uh, Only our second defeat of the season in sixteen matches is still not a bad run of form to be having. Let's see how the other teams did. Uh, see they drew, so that's fine. And obviously, one of our rivals, in fact, they lost... No, they drew again at home against one of the poorer teams in the league. So it's actually given a chance for Colmar to slip up into that spot. But it is, you know, it's a battle between most of those sides, really. So all is looking relatively... Yeah, okay, we lost the game and we weren't good enough in that one. But you're going to have off days. You can't expect to not to win every game. Let's just see how the season preview panned out. So who's expected to finish where? We're expected to win this league, apparently. Which I still don't really fully get why we specifically are. But hey, um... Bastia were expected to do a lot better than they are. Uh, Amiens were right in there as well. 16 to 1. Jesus. Uh, Red Star are actually lower than I thought they were. I say that because I think they're doing quite well in real life. And I think I, having looked at the league tables, just assumed that that would kind of carry on over. But it just doesn't really seem to have done that at all, if I'm honest. Um, right. So, wow, we're only 12 minutes into this episode. That's remarkably short. I apologise for that. Um, so, what else can we have a little look at? Um... Let's take a little look at the finances while we're here. Some of you find that kind of thing a little bit interesting. So we're just going to have a little gander. But this is what I mean. Look, 800,000 in the bank. Or, uh, sorry, gone. Projected balance, 3.36 million. It just... We, there's no income. I don't understand how we're supposed to... So gate receipts of like 20,000. Merchandising's tiny. Prize money is minimal at best. Grants is tiny. 60,000 comes in. And expenditure... It's just the player wages. Like, 152,000 on player wages. Because the thing is, most none of these players are players I've signed. We've got some absurd wages in this squad. Let's just take a gander at the squad and go to contract. Like, we've got three players here. Puyo, Sokoye, and Ojumbai. All of whom are on over four... Oh, hang on, wait. And Kinkea, who isn't even in my team. And I don't want at the club. And I need to try and get rid of him in January if I can. In fact, I'm gonna, in January, I'm going to try and get rid of as many players that I don't want. So, for example, Kinkella can go, Konate can go, um, Sonaya can go. Uh, actually, just those three. But the fact is, if I can just get those three off the off the wage bill, Kinkella, you know, it's four thousand one hundred pounds a week. He's a full time player, and he's just yeah, he's he's quite a decent player. But how long is his contract as well? We could sell him for actual money as well. So that's pleasing. Although he's a little bit old, but if we could get any money for him, then great. Um, Konate, again, it's the same deal. We could probably get a decent amount of money for him as well. I don't know when his contract's up. Again, same deal. I just feel like getting rid of these guys and getting them off the wage bill is our best bet at the moment. So, you know, that would be £4,100 a week off. Konate, that's... Well, that's 7000 off. Uh, and Sanaya... Okay, well, we'd be getting nearly eight grand a week off the wage bill. Plus, we'd get some money for at least a couple of them, particularly, hopefully, Konate. If we can, even if we got like half a million from that, could be crucial to us. Because the fact is, they're not playing, so we don't need them. 
Um, it's not like we'd miss them because they just don't get in our team in general. So I think that's our best approach is to try and get rid of those guys in January if we can. And as you can see, Ojin Bai and Sokhye uh, are both leaving at the end of the season. And frankly, I'd let them go because I think we can do better for less, if I'm honest. I think we can bring some players through and have a better chance at stabilizing ourselves as a financial institute, essentially, uh, if we can do that. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do in January is get rid of Kinkela, get rid of Kanata, and get rid of Sanaya and allow some of our youngsters to fill those positions if they do need to come in, basically, and try to just get ourselves back on a vaguely, you know, we'd get about half a million in total, hopefully, if we can get rid of them. Uh, plus, we'd be £8,000 a week uh, better off, which hopefully would at least stem the tide of the debtors come in and repossess our testicles and such like so yeah um so uh, if you guys are like oh actually let's just check what episode we're gonna what live come we're gonna do in the next episode while we're here um what have we got bastia bastia looks like a tough game uh these ones actually look relatively poor so i think the next one will be to do bastia at home um so guys if you like what you've seen please do drop a like on the video and if you'd like to even more than that please subscribe to my channel for more outcaster icons and from the shadows in your inbox every single day at 5 30 and 8 o'clock and i will see you guys in the next episode for a match against ca bastia where hopefully we can get back to winning ways in our live comms and hopefully solidify our places in the promotion spots and mm, well that's in january actually wow that's right at the end of january i can only assume there's some relatively large gaps which will do us some good to get some players back fit and hopefully get some of these guys off the wage bill uh, hopefully we'll be in a slightly more healthy position when that comes around so uh, i'll see you guys soon Bye bye